Hey guys, Lindsay here. Today I want to be showing you guys a makeup tutorial involving the Kylie Lip Kit. So stay tuned and check out how these pretty babies work. So as you can see, I did most of my makeup. I put my foundation, my contour palette, and my eyeliner to save some time because the main thing is what I'm going to focus on is my eyes and the lips. I'm just, yeah, the lips mainly, mostly, but yeah, and my eyebrows. I want to do that as well. So first, I'm taking this little brush. I know I've been doing this. I love showing off how I do my brows. Because it's just awesome how a little bit of makeup can enhance you a little bit. So if you, all you just do is you just, yeah, put a, the wax on your brow. Simple as that. And there's that. And then you just take the next brush, it's like a flat line brush, and you take the eyebrow powder and just go along the eyebrows. Okay. This is the thing I love showing the difference between regular eyebrows and it's fun playing with eyebrow makeup especially because it helps define your look. It helps to enhance your look a little bit without trying to be too drastic and just still average in between normal. So that's, that's, that's why I love doing my brows now. I If I would have known this stuff now what I did in high school, I wouldn't have been so awkward or quirky or weird, but weird is normal. Being, I'm sorry, being normal is vastly overrated. Let me know in the comments if you know where that comes from. If you do, then thumbs up to you, kudos to you. Yeah. You better turn that off right now. Now. I apologize for Donovan and his loud. Loud voice. That's what you get when you're a mom when you do with this as well. So, there's my brows looking good. I need to figure out how to fix my hair differently. <coughs> and now I'm just going to take my big brush and contour a little bit more. It's like a taupe contour. You just go along your face. And just kind of bronze your face up a little bit. Always blend with your neck because you don't want to have streaky lines around it. Otherwise it just looks kind of weird. And there's that. Next I'm going to take this little white brush and use my little highlight and just like highlight your cheekbones. Do that for a little bit along your nose, nose bone, bone. I don't know how you say it, but there's that. And then I'm taking my rose blush and putting some blush on. I love how the highlight works with the mix of the blush. And I just do this a little bit too. And there's that. So now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I, th I want to use this side, the neutral brown side, since I'm wearing like a dark green shirt. It'll just make the neutrals pop out 
just a little bit. Like what I've been doing lately is like backwards trio. So first I'm going to start off with my small purple brush and just take this color here at the bottom. You better close that door right now. You just let go under your eyes, eyebrows. I've just been loving the way it comes when I do it backwards. Close the door now. Cause you wanna fucking give me attitude. My, Need to stop. My bag of okay, so there's that. Then next, I'm going to take this angled brush and do like with it within the crease. I think I'm gonna go with the gold. This gold is awesome. I definitely need to up my shadow game. I was asking people in my makeup group that I'm in, saying I need to up my shadow game. Is there any brighter border colors that I could go with? Where could I get them? And so a few people suggested, but if, if you have any ideas, just let me know in the below. I know someone suggested Morph, and then they somewhat, other, a couple other people posted some links. But anyway, if you know of anywhere I could get some brighter, bolder eyeshadow colors, Please let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna put this down now and use my mirror. No, no, no. Plus, I love the way the gold goes on your skin. It's a shimmery color. It's very, very pretty. Peace out. You can see it. It looks really cool. Pazella. Close the door. He likes to drop me nuts. I don't know why. I'm really loving this gold. So I've got the gold in the creases. Next, I'm going to use this pink brush. I don't use this a whole lot. It's by Royal and Langnickel Medium Eye Shader. I just can't remember where I got this, but it's my, like my nice brush. I, that's why I don't use it a whole lot. But the last color, the dark brush. Well, I want to use. I was wanting to use this, but I kind of want to use this too. I don't know. Hey, Donovan, come here. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. I need your help. Should I use this one or this one? I should use a blue. No, I, I need these two colors. Oh. Help me pick. Mm, use that one. These two. This one or this one? This one? No, not that one. Or this one? That one. Help me. I want you to help me. Maybe. Yeah. No. Yeah. Pick out of these colors. The ones that are all the hole. I don't want black. Yeah. Can I use this one? No, that's brown. Can't 
it is out. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no! I want to pick that one. I know. All right, go. I'm done with you. I want to pick that one. I tried. Those colors look really pretty, actually. I've been trying to try to blend, try to use different combinations, but I'm just losing my eyeshadow game here. Don't know why. Because I use the same stuff every day. Close the door. You better stop right now. Do you see what I'm doing? Don't. Well, I can turn it down. No. Yeah. We're gonna turn it down with this. Beep. That makes it too late. Fine. 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 Stop. Fine. Stop. Fine. Does it look pretty cool or what? It looks. It looks not pretty cool. Okay, so there is eyeshadow. I think it looks really neat. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm going to move on to the lid. So it also comes with an eyeliner. You can see how kind of like pretty the redness is. I've kind of started a little bit. Um, I've not used lip liner in forever. I think since I was a teenager maybe. But I want to get the lip the liner on and put the lipstick on as well. <laughs> okay, there's that, and then next I'm going to go with the the sh the color is very very pretty. I think it's, I'm going to wear this a lot. Actually, I'm going to wear wearing this color a lot. But let's get this on. It is like gorgeous. And I'm not getting any on my lips. This is the Head Over Heels Kylie Lip Kit color. I think it's really pretty and I'm definitely not wearing this more often. So there's that. Now I want to do a little magic and switch over to the Dirty Beach. So get ready to take out the Dirty Beach. So here is the Dirty Beach. I think it looks really cute 
and neutral. I love like neutral colors, but I also love dark colors. So these two like are a perfect mix that of is perfect. going neutral during the day and then <coughs> bold at night, especially when you want to go out or whatever. But yeah, that is that. And I want to keep this color on the rest of the day. Please stop. So, yeah. So, like I was just about to say, um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any Kylie lip kits yourself and what color you prefer. Bold or natural. I really like both of the colors, so I'm definitely going to be wearing these often. I'm excited to get my first lip since order in. I just finally ordered a, a, the other day because everything is like it has been out of stock. So I will update you more about my lip sense journey and just my journey in general. And yeah, let me know if you want to see any other <coughs> makeup tutorials, any other makeup videos or hair videos. And just let me know what else you want to see here on my channel. Like I said yesterday, I'm excited to... For the new weather. I'm excited, excited for the weather. I'm excited for new things coming up. So drop some ideas for this channel in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And then also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future and see this cute goofball as well. Peace out. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow with a short little video. Have a good day.